I am looking at an article here on Yahoo Finance and this says that there is a Novell effort in Minnesota which is seeking an ISP gambling block. I'll give you a link to this article. I'm not going to read it here. But what they are stating is how they want to block these online gaming places. Sort of like the poker, uh, poker sites like a party poker or a poker stars and what I find very interesting is how we got so many gambling advertisements on this page we got e-trade right here there is an article it says open an account and get a free blackberry smartphone poker sites do the same type of deal they to get your business and to open up deposits they will give you free books free magazines they don't usually give you phones unless you play for a while the difference is with poker sites they their casino works the more you play the more points you get these casinos i'm not too sure how they work that way we have scott trade td ameritrade these are gambling sites you play on these you're either going to win or you're either going to lose that's what a gambling site is they even have three gambling quotes right over here i click on this i come up with at and t which is showing me uh, a code which is nothing more than a gambling site and this is what i find interesting because i'm going to click on td ameritrade i click on this link trade free for 30 days or get 100 dollars free once again that is uh that's another type of promotion to try to get you to a trade and I'm gonna look at this all of this here I'm gonna do a search for gambling in here we'll see if it comes up and nothing comes up for gambling on this site not one single word comes up for gambling if I click on e-trade will that happen uh, here uh, we got a uh, few uh, main page let me just try to search for gambling nothing comes up so it seems to me as if these web pages here do not admit to them that they are gambling sites but so many people have lost so much money on these sites and the big difference is if you are going to play with a company like TD Ameritrade or Scottrade or E-Trade you have to risk a lot more money than you would with say a poker site. A poker site gives you a chance to be able to only play for $20 or $100 or $300 whereas these sites here you need a lot of money to be able to trade so I see a lot of contradiction going on here and I would love it if the governments could at least one day come out and say you know what the stock market is nothing more than a form of gambling and yet they have blindly had so many people with their 401ks and people who just put money in they are lying to them in my opinion by saying it's an investment when really it's nothing more than a gamble thank you for watching